Hola everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, welcome. My name is Marianelli. And as you guys already read by today's title, I will be reviewing the new Rizzo Curls gel. I'm so excited for this because I've been waiting for this gel. I know they gave out little hints about this new gel about two months ago, and it's finally out. I'm so excited. And I did get quite a few DMs from you guys asking me to do a review. So I heard you, and of course I had to do it. So I got you, girl. So I will be showing you guys my day one, two, and three hair. But before we get into this video, if you guys are not subscribed to my channel, please do not forget to subscribe to my channel. Also hit that bell notification so you guys get notified every single time I upload a video. So let me show you the new Riso Curls Light Hold Gel. It is this one here. Look at this beautiful packaging. Isn't it beautiful? I just love this packaging. It's so pretty. You do get an 8 fluid ounce bottle of gel. But just real quick, this is only available at risocurls.com. It is not available at Target like her other stylers are. So this gel contains aloe, flaxseed, and thyme. It is sulfate-free, silicones, and no parabens. You guys already know that I talk about Riso Curls all the time here on my channel. I love their products. They're amazing. And this is a light hold gel. And you guys know also that I... And more of a stronghold gel type of person. I just love stronghold gels because they hold my curls and I just feel like they give me more definition and I just get more days out of my wash day. And yeah, so we're gonna be testing it out. And the only reason is because like I just love this curl, so I just want to see what this gel is all about. This gel also is protein free, so for those of you who don't want to use any protein in their stylers, this is protein free. Let me see. We ain't wasting that. no product. Ooh, it smells good. It smells just like the product, kind of. It has a little different scent to it, but if you guys have smelled their products, they are very nice. They smell really pleasant. Not overpowering at all. I actually love the smell to them. This one kind of smells similar to them, but it smells amazing. But a little different. Maybe, maybe it's the aloe or the thyme in there. But it smells very good. It's not overpowering at all. I did mention these products on my 2020 favorites. And like I said before, before I dyed my hair, I used to only use the Curl Defining Cream. And that was it for me. It gave me a great, it gave me great hold and great definition. But now that I do have a little color in my hair, my hair needs more hydration. Therefore, I will be using the Refresh and Tangle Spray first as my leave-in. And then my Curl Cream. And then of course... The gel let's get into it so i already washed my hair um i used my verb products my conditioner i'm just gonna be adding a little water because my hair is pretty dry it dries pretty quick now so i always go ahead and spray the leave-in on my hands because i just don't like spraying it i just it gets all over me and i just don't want to waste any product so I just feel like it gets messy and it gets all over the place. That's why I spray the leave-in on my hand, really close to my hand and build it up here like so. And then I'm gonna go in with the curl cream. These products smell so good. Sorry if I look this side, my mirror's on this side, so that's why I'm looking this way. All right, my hair feels already so hydrated with these products. So now it is time for the gel. Whoa, okay, this is pretty runny. You guys see that? It is pretty runny. It smells so bomb. Only difference I think that you can smell on it, it's the thyme. It smells really good. Okay, and I just like gels that feel like very runny i just feel like it penetrates my hair very well i don't know if it's just me but that's just how i feel i'm gonna go ahead and use it a little more because i just want that i want a good hold i know it's a supposed to be a light hold gel but maybe if i add a little more it's gonna give me like more hold especially my bottom hair needs a little more love then i'm gonna go in with my demo brush and just define these curls
Alrighty, so I'm finally done styling my whole hair. Um, like I always mentioned on my videos, this is my dryer side. Therefore, I do get more frizz on this side all the time. I don't know if you guys can tell or the camera can pick it up. But I just have uh, my usual normal frizz and dryness that I have on this side. But after I diffuse, it just kind of looks like evened out. Evened out. But yeah, this side is so hydrated. My curls are very hydrated with all three products like i said risa curls is very hydrating that's why i love it it hydrates my hair bomb this is actually the first time i'm using their products since i dyed my hair so i don't know how my products are gonna react since i do have color now and my care and my curls do want more hydration and this whole line is based on hydration so i cannot wait to see the results so i'm gonna dry my hair and then i'll show you guys before i scrunch out my cast what my hair is looking like Alrighty, so I am back and I have a cast. Um, I am debating if I should use an oil since Riso Curls does not have an oil on their line. Maybe that will be their next product, I hope. Because it is a review based on basically the gel. I don't know if I should use a if I should use an oil because yeah since i always do use an oil to scrunch out my my cast so let me show you what my hair is looking like so definition is already there i have a really good hold for a light gel obviously it is the cast but so far it's looking good i like the cast i have i like the definition okay so i think what i'm gonna do is what i do when i refresh and i'm gonna be using a little bit of the brush and the tangle spray to scrunch out my cast just a little bit like i said but just like this just a little bit more product just to scrunch out that cast since there's no oil and we're just want to we want to do a fair review on the riso curls so let me see Like I said, they don't have an oil, which means that the product should be working without an oil. I just like the oil just because like, just to break off the cast and like make my hair a little soft. But we're gonna work like this. And yeah, so this is what my hair is looking like, guys. I like it. I actually like it, guys. I really hope these, I really hope this gel holds my curls at least for three days. Because I know sometimes a light hole gels, they won't really last. They won't really make my wash day last. So that's why I always prefer strong hole gels. But so far, I'm very impressed. Very, very impressed. I like the volume. I actually didn't use my pick either. Uh, just like to see the volume it gives me by itself. But so far, like I said, I am really liking my volume and my definition. It's amazing. Tomorrow I will be back and I will refresh and show you guys how my curls are looking like for day two. So it is a day number two of this Riso Curls hair. Um, let me show you what my hair is looking like. I actually don't have a lot of frizz. This is how I slept in the pineapple. I will be doing a how I refresh my curls pretty soon. I know I've been saying it for a while, but I'm gonna do it soon. But yeah, let me show you. So first, let me say that I am completely impressed with these products, like I had already said. My hold and definition is still there. My hair is not dry at all. Actually, it feels very hydrated. I, I did do a deep protein treatment before this for my washing. And I don't know, but my hair is looking bomb. Like I said, Riso Curls is full of hydration and that's the reason why I love their products. But let me show you this pillow. Usually, you guys, I have the driest section here in my back and my hair is not 
dry it's actually very hydrated for it being a light hold gel i feel like it's a it has a really good hold honestly the reason why i don't like light hold gels is because the next day my curls are really like they're not really defined and they're not holding on and i feel like my day two hair already has still a lot of definition and volume i cannot wait to see day number three but so far I'm loving it. I'm just gonna refresh a little bit using some of the uh, refreshing the tangle spray just like on top. I don't really need a lot because like I said, my hair is already like very hydrated and I don't wanna add anything like crazy to it to like weigh it down. It looks bomb. So yeah, I'm gonna spray it today just because like I just want it. Ah, never mind. not gonna spray it. And for some reason I'm breaking out. So please do not mind my jawbone because I don't know what's going on with me. Probably it's my hormones. I, I don't know. I'm gonna take about this much and then I'm gonna add a little bit of water. So I'm just gonna add it here to the front. I'm gonna add a little water. And I'm gonna add a little bit to my tips. Okay, so this is it for my refresh for day number two. Um, like I said, my hair does not need a lot. It is very hydrated and defined and I just have very minimal frizz, not, nothing crazy. Just had some hair. Like I said, for it being a light hold gel, it has amazing hold. Honestly, I feel like maybe it's like a medium hold. Um, I used other light hold gels and my hair doesn't really feel like this the second day, especially day three. So I cannot wait for day three. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna quickly use my diffuser. So day number three today, and this is what my hair is looking like. I just feel like my ends are a little bit drier, but nothing that a little bit of leave-in can fix. I still have a lot of definition, and the hold is still there. So my definition is still there and that is very important to me, like I said, for it being a light hold gel. Um, but so far it's holding up, guys. Like, I feel like this is more like a medium hold. Um, I love the hold on it. So what I'm gonna do is just gonna spray a little more water on my ends, basically only on my ends because I feel like my hair doesn't really need like a big refresh. So I'm just gonna spritz some water all over and just revive some of the curls. And as you guys can see on this side, my curls are very defined, very defined, like always. This side is also holding up very nicely, except the back, which I'm not surprised. Like I always say, this, this is the part that I have to fix throughout the week. So again, I'm just going to add a little leave-in. I'm just gonna use my blow dryer and I'm just gonna hover around my hair again like I did yesterday, just hovering around, not touching the curls at all. Okay guys, so I'm done drying my hair. I just dried it, like I just hover diffused for like three minutes and these are my results. It's completely dry and I just love my hair. I am completely impressed with this gel. My ringlets are still there and it is day three and usually with light hold gels, that's why I don't really use them because my curls, during the week sometimes my hair with light hold gels, they just lose their definition. And my definition is still there with the Riso curls. I love it, I will definitely keep using this gel because it's not a light, I don't feel like it's a light hold. 
it's a light hold in the sense of it being soft because my curls are soft maybe but the hold is bomb i love the hold i think it's like a medium hold i don't know but if you guys try this gel out please let me know even on instagram don't be afraid to dm me and let me know how you like this gel because i'm loving it so far Alrighty, guys thank you guys so much for watching please do not forget to give this video a thumbs up and also do not forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already i hope you guys are back to see my next video bye guys